let's go over what happened to me and see why do I think it has everything to do with Islam. So I was called an adult woman at age nine. Not me, every girl in Islamic countries and Islamic families is considered an adult woman at age nine. And just to make sure, again, you can look it up yourself, but I will provide information here just to make sure that you know it wasn't some family tradition or cultural thing or our school wanted to do it. If you look up uh, Civil Code of Islamic Republic of Iran, Book 10, Chapter 1, Article 1210 says, No one, when reaching the age of majority, can be treated as under disability in respect of insanity or immaturity, unless his or her immaturity and insanity is proved. Note 1. The age of majority for boys is 15 and for girls is 9. Civil code of the country. And the same thing is repeated in every other Islamic country. Pakistan, Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar. Look them up. They're all available online. At age 9, a girl is a woman. Simple as that. Now, why is that? If you read the Quran, Nowhere in Quran does Allah said what age a girl or a boy will be an adult. To be fair, it's not in the Quran. No, it isn't. However, 91 times in Quran, it is mentioned that the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, is a perfect example of a man. Whatever he did, you do. What did Muhammad do? Prophet Muhammad had 11 wives at the same time. His favorite wife was named Aisha. Aisha was six years old when Muhammad married her, and she was nine years old when he consummated the marriage. And now, again, don't take my word for it. If you read Sahih al-Bukhari, which is the only approved Hadith book by all Islamic leaders, Islamic scholars, and it is taught at Islamic schools and in mosques. Sahih al-Bukhari, volume seven, book 62, Hadith 88, she was six years old when Muhammad came asking her father to marry her. Based on that, in every Islamic country, a girl at age nine is officially a woman. Been there, done that. 